Yo, what is good, my anime people? We are getting not one, not two, but three animes that are absolutely going nuts. We're starting with No Longer in Another World simply because this man who can eat anything and wants to only eat demi human women is a pretty much scum of the earth, and I can't wait to see how he's handled. But at the end of the day, our main character going there and just asking to be eaten is one of the most weirdest things even the monsters wouldn't understand. So I like that instance of seeing him just putting forward what he does best, which is being a weirdo and ultimately getting the job done if need be with getting them in the prison to break out the same way they could have with the kid. So now that they are going to do that, I'm curious to know what y'all are feeling about this show that it's been out for a while. Are you watching? Are you keeping up? That being said, on to the next one, which is my hero, Dekun, absolutely going 120%. If I see this kid lose a limb or something because he pushes himself so hard, I wouldn't be surprised. This show is so brutal with its main character to the point where even if he wins this battle, someone losing their life is something he's going to have way on his conscience very much so so that's why this show is so curious to me is to see what happens to everyone because everybody is so important to him just like everybody is important to me but Dekun in this full transformation using every single part of all for one has honestly looked amazing i'm pretty sure people are going to start watching just this fight alone just because it looks amazing so that's one of these moments where I'm just telling you if you aren't fully caught up and you're just watching this because you saw my hero is trending or whatever is trending, definitely check it out. Worth a watch and worth having your feelings hurt because you're going to cry sooner or later unless you're just a robot. Next anime will have to be Suicide Squad Isekai. Harley Quinn has ultimately taken over the squad and now... The biggest twist at the end was fantastic. Not only was I kind of complaining and I put a short out uh, showing Joker fighting against uh, Harley Quinn as Katana. Man was completely fooling everyone and turning into other people to fight Harley Quinn and just give her a test. Now we know for a fact that Joker has been in this world the entire time. He is about to set up something very fun for Harley, supposedly. And to think that he was doing this without anyone being able to tell us that outside of Waller is kind of frustrating with it being the very, very final episode. But it's a cool twist to know that there could be more of this anime in general, because come on, without the Joker doing anything this whole entire 10 episodes, it's the easiest way for him to build a faction and do some crazy stuff. So very curious to know what y'all are feeling about the end of the Suicide Squad Isekai. Do you want more? Do you think it should just stay gone because it's not what you wanted? Um, all that good stuff and more will be coming from your boy. So let me know what you are thinking ultimately. But y'all, thank you so much for the support. I hope you are having a good day, night, evening, whatever the case may be. I will be talking about a lot more shows coming in the future. And if you are listening to this, this is for the second channel people. I won't want to post very long videos or even streams on the other channel. So once I get 50 subscribers on this one, we can actually start streaming and having a lot more fun in live time. So make sure you're subscribing and make sure you're liking. Take care. Peace.